Hi, good night. Carlita, Carolina, and Santos. Good night, teacher. Hi, Santos. How are you? Fine, fine. Fine. Happy. And, and, and you? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. And you, and you, Carlita? I'm fine. <laughs> look at, look at Edgar's picture. <laughs> <laughs> Bonito, seguro. Hi, uh, <laughs> hi, Edgar. Hola, hola. ¿Qué tal? Hello. How are you? How are you, Edgar? Muy bien. Very, very, very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> okay, everybody. Well, welcome to your class number 16. All right, we finished today. So we have to enjoy, right? We have to enjoy today's class. We're going to begin with, um, sorry, porque es la, la, la PowerPoint que uso con el grupo anterior. Oh, my God. What happened? Uh, sometimes I am in the end, but I'm going to be here for the beginning. Okay. Well, today is class number 16. Number 16. And we're going to begin with this activity. Okay, do you remember yesterday I was telling you a little bit about countable and uncountable nouns? That the difference between countable and uncountable nouns are that countable can be counted. Say one, two, three, 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 four, five, six. And it has a plural form or a plural way. And once the word says on, that means no, it's not possible to count. It is not possible to give plural to the word and it is not possible to say one, two, three, and four. That is the difference. Now, in here, we have two jars. Meaning of, of jars, everybody? Jarras. Jarras, very good. Or uh, the, the the thing where you put the mayonnaise or sometimes the mermaid. All right. So here I have two jars. What you're going to do, because you're going to work in groups. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to divide the countable nouns and the uncountable nouns. Okay, but first, I'm going to check if you know this vocabulary so we don't have any problems. Uh, do you know the meaning of egg? Yes, yes. huevos. Egg, very good. Huevo, very good. What about milk? Leche. Yeah, very good. Everybody knows that. Tomato? You know, tomato, fish, fish, all right, the animal in the sea, fruit, fruit, flower, yeah, flower, and love, bread, bread is pan, 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 general, yeah, snow, do you know the meaning of snow? Nieve. No. Oh, okay. What about a uh, cake? Pastel. Yeah, cake. What about apple? Manzana. Manzana. What about juice? Jugo, jugo. Good. What about dress? Vestido. What about lemon? You know, lemon, yeah. lemon. Butter. Mantequilla. Very good. What about salt? Sal. Arroz. Eh, sal. 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 Uh, yeah. What about meat? Carne. Carne. Rice. Arroz. Arroz. <laughs> Carrot. Carrot is a rabbit's favorite Anore. food. Very good. Grapes. Uvas. 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 What about oil? Aceite. Aceite. Oil. Oh, oil, <laughs> is, oil is orizol and, and okay. western okay. and blah, blah, blah. What about pepinillas? Pepino. 
Pepinos. Pepinos. Cucumbers are pepinos. What about sugar? Sugar. Azúcar. Azúcar. Cebolla. Azúcar. Onion <laughs> is cebolla, right? Cebolla. Ajos. Ajos. Very good. Very good. What about plum? No idea? Plums are ciruela. ciruela. So, for example, if you have a stomach ache, if you have a problem with your stomach, it's good to eat some plums. Coffee, tea? Sí. Eh. Good. Cup, taza, salad, berry is baya. Son bayas. La baya, las bayas, las bayitas, right? They are similar to mora. Huh? Similar to the blueberry. Very good. What about chocolate? Chocolate. Yes. <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> Very difficult. Uh, there, this is something that everybody doesn't like. What's this? No. Money. No. Money. Very good. Then we have orange, cherry, no. sandwich, cream. Chip is las, las, las eh, no, chip no. is las papitas, like uh, lace, mm -hmm. la, mm. butter, cookie, cookie, banana, 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 no, you pronounce it banana, chair, chair, sheep, and food, okay. Sheep is oveja, right? Okay. And food. So please, everybody, take a picture. <sighs> Have the picture? Yes. No, Teacher. Yes, Edgar. Uh, para referirme a pez y pescado uso la misma palabra, fish. Yeah, fish. Pez o pescado. Eh, significa las dos cosas. Ok. Uh -huh. Gracias. Lo que el pescado vivo es countable y el frito en el plato es uncountable. Ah, ok. Mm. Se Thank dice, you. teacher, pero que no está entero. Yes, en El Salvador <laughs> lo comemos así, but in the United States, no way. Okay. Ven un pescado así o un pez así y se asustan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it is something it is something like, oh my god, look at the poor fish on the plate. Okay. Okay. So Thank yes. You. All right. So well I have Eduardo, I have Carlos, Abby, Boris, Hilsi, Gifredo, my God. That's a difficult name. Patty, Carolina, Rosalba, right? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Like, well, so, no, 15, I have 15, counting myself. So we're going to have uh, two groups of three, and then I will have some pairs. Carolina Dominguez will work with Mavi. Abby with Javier and Santos. Carlos with Edgar and Eduardo. Carmina with Carla. Gil Sigifredo with Patricia. And Boris with Rosalba, okay? So, okay. remember, you have to divide the countable and uncountable now. Okay, so, go everybody. I sent you the invitation. Ay, teacher, yo me dejo afuera. Samuel, oh my God. <laughs> ya decía yo que todos están Oscar, viendo. Oscar, Chu, se me acaban de unir. Vaya, ahorita los mando a un grupo. Ok, thank you. Gracias. Oscar. Hello. Eh, ah, ok, he's there. So, ahorita lo mando a un grupo también. Ok. Thank you. Ok, you will have the invitation in a moment.
You don't have the invitation, Oscar? No. No, let me see. Maybe right now? Yeah. Okay. He is comfortable. Okay. Uh, fit? Comfortable. Actually, fish can be comfortable and can be uncomfortable. Uh -huh. si está frito, es exactly. Con... Yes. Es que en Estados Unidos no se lo comen entero, sino que en, en filetes, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in El Salvador, <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> Salvador, <laughs> well, in my case, when I eat fish, I eat the the, the head. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> okay, continue. Okay, Abby. Uh, fruit. Fry. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Fruit. Fruit. Yeah, fruit. Fruit. Yeah, pero um, fruit no, is no uncountable. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es eso? Ah, ok. Eh, uncountable es un nombre o sustantivo que no, no. se puede contar. Ajá. Eh, lo de, ajá, pero eh, el significado del 5. Ah, fruta, fruit. Uh, es es con, contable. Well, actually, fruit is uncountable. Yes, porque no podemos decir en inglés, no podemos decir one fruit, two fruits, aunque en español sí podamos, but in English it's not possible. Uh, okay. Yeah. Fruit yeah. en general, fe, papera, bananas. Yeah, is it clear? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, acuérdense que las características para saber if a, a word is countable or uncountable is, number one, La palabra de tener plural. En number two, debe de poder contar. It's clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. Ah, okay. I have one participant that is unassigned. Or fue. Okay. Javier. Okay, continue, continue. Number, number six, flowers. He is comfortable. Hi, Josue. Good night. Okay, Carmen. Hi, good night. Hi, Carmen. Uh, I'm going to send you to a group. Give me a second. Mm, okay. Send you to breakout room three. Thank you. Cayo, do you have the invitation? Swiss dry is incontable. Potato is contable. Contable. Ca Carrot is uh, contable. Sí. Yeah. Y, y lo de los siguientes grab is contable también. Oil. When is grapes is contable. Yeah. Petróleo e incontable. No, pero ahí es aceite. Aceite, very good, yes. También puede ser petróleo, yeah, but in this case, because... Es un contable. Exactly, because we are talking about food. Eh, es que, es que con, cuando dice que es aceite, y es pet, bueno, la palabra es petróleo, ¿verdad? Yes, pero en este caso, como estamos en el contexto de comida, es sería comida. aceite. Mm -hmm. Aceite, okay. yeah. Oil. Mm, yeah. Okay, continue. continue. Eh, Excuse me, ¿quién habló? Carmen. Eh, Carmen. Carmen, ah, hola, Carmen. Hola. Um, the next word 
is, is more money. money is uncountable. Is uncountable. Orange is countable. Countable. Cherry countable. Cherries is countable. It's countable. Sandwich. Is sandwich. Yes, it's countable. Vaya, dijo. Ah, Bye. sí, vaya. Vaya. Hi, teacher. Not Hi. vaya from vaya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, berry, berry is countable or uncountable? Uh, countable. Okay. Es que ahí, uh, en algunos yo tengo duda, los uncountables son los líquidos. Yes. Okay. Uncountable. Always. Liquids are always uncountable. O sea, for, ex for example, milk, mm -hmm. uh, fruit, chocolate. Exactly. Choc uh, okay. Chocolate, okay. chocolate can be both. Chocolate can be countable and can be uncountable. Okay. Money is countable. See. Mm -hmm. Guys, can you yes. listen to me? So, so yeah. sugar is uncountable. Okay. No puedes contar todos los granditos de azúcar. <laughs> no, pero las libras, sí, las libras. <laughs> Teacher, yeah. money is uncountable. Yes, uh -huh. money is uncountable. It is uncountable, money. Uh, uh, tía? Sí? Tía is countable. Sorry, um, uncountable. Uncountable. Uncountable, yes. Graves? Graves okay. is countable. Sorry, everybody. I touched. I touched. Finish the the rooms if, uh, by mistake. I'm sorry. Okay, but we're gonna do this together. We're gonna do this together. Okay. So, um, egg is countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Okay. Milk. Uncountable. 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 Uh, water. Uncountable. What about banana? Uncountable. What about milk? Uncountable. What about flour? Uncountable. What about what about rice? Uncountable. Uncountable. What about snow? Incontable. 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 Very good. Very good. What about cheese? Incontable. Incontable. Exactly. Because it is not possible to. No se oye, teacher. Can you listen to me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it is not possible to say one cheese, two cheeses, three cheeses. Correct. It is not correct. Okay. Cliff? Yes. Yes, okay. Now uh, we're maybe gonna... I I listen chips. <laughs> oh no no, it's cheese. Ah yeah. cheese is uncountable. And yeah. chocolate is uncountable or countable? Both. Um... Possible to use both. Okay. Now cheese is uncountable. Yes, cheese is uncountable and uncountable now. Good. Now, uh, here we have uh, some quantifiers that we're going to study today. Now, I want you to pay attention to this because these are the most common quantifiers. Este es un tema bastante importante. 
Now, we use quantifiers when it is not possible or you don't want to give the specific number. You don't want to give the specific number. For example, you don't want to, you don't want to say five, you don't want to say 10. You can use quantifiers, all right? Very good. For example, now we're going to begin with this please pay attention to if it is countable or if it is uncountable noun all right very good give me a second okay <laughs> Okay, very good. Now, please, uh, si tienen preguntas, uh, apúntenlas, right? Write them on your notebooks. Uh, I will be speaking, and when I open the, the microphones, well, you tell me. Now, it, it is something important to know. Es importante saber uh, that the quantifiers are divided to use with countable nouns or the nouns you can count and the uncountable nouns, the nouns you can't count, all right? For example, a little, it is the meaning, el significado is small or minor, a small quantity or a minor quantity. Is it possible to use with countable nouns? No, it is on, only with uncountable nouns. Y vamos a usar estos con oraciones que son affirmative. Vamos a poner solo así. Ah. Affirmative or positive sentences. So it is not possible to use with a negative sentence. Un ejemplo, one example of a little. I have a little money. That means the quantity of money I have it is a minor quantity, okay? Now, the next one is a few. Significa poquito o poco. A little también significa poco. But what is the difference between a little and a few? Okay, that you can use a little with uncountable nouns, but you use a few with countable nouns. So, if you want to say, for example, yo tengo pocos amigos, you say, I have a few friends, all right? And we're going to use this with affirmative sentences. Okay. Now, the next one, the next one is a lot of. A lot of. The meaning, a large number or a large amount, amount is cantidad. We can use a lot of with countable nouns and with uncountable nouns. For example, I have a lot of friends, friends is a countable word, or I drink a lot of water, water is a countable word, a lot of is mucho. Okay, and we use a lot of with affirmative sentences. Okay, now, many and much. Los dos significan mucha cantidad, all right? But many, it is used with countable nouns, and much is used with uncountable nouns. And... We're going to use many with negative sentences. And we're going to use much with negative sentences also. So I'm going to give you some examples. Many. I don't have many friends. I don't have much money. Uncountable noun. Okay. Very good. Si alguien tiene una pregunta, le puede hacer ahorita. Pero si tiene un poquito de ruidito en el fondo, le puede... Or, or, you, or you wait for me. Okay. Any, any is negative sentences. Wait. 
any is with negative sentences. All right, very good. With negative sentences. Significa nada, zero, okay? And we can use any with countable nouns and with uncountable nouns. For example, I don't have any friends, countable nouns, I don't have any time. Teacher, uh, a question. Yes? Eh, siempre, si es negativa, siempre tiene que llevar don. Por ejemplo, I have any money. Yeah, sí. Oh, okay. Siempre tiene que ir en, eh, in negative. I don't have any money. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yes. Uh, you can say, I don't have any money, I don't have any water, I don't have any time, I don't have any bananas. Ahí no vamos a ver diferencia de countable and uncountable, porque se puede usar con las dos. Y significa nada, zero. Okay? Yeah? Okay. Uh, okay. The next one is lots of. Lots of eh, is similar to a lot of. Es, es como que esté diciendo a lot of. Es lo mismo. And we can use it with countable nouns and with uncountable nouns in affirmative sentences. Okay? Uh, affirmative, principally. All right? You can say, I have lots of friends. I have lots of money. Y está diciendo como decir, I have a lot of money, I have a lot of friends. Is it clear? Yeah. Yeah. And the last one is some. Some is going to be used with affirmative sentences. Ah, any también se puede usar con questions. También se puede usar con questions. Okay, you can use any with negative and with, and with questions, all right? Lots of affirmative, some affirmative. Some is like, hmm, está en me, entre medio de um, any and a lot of, some, all right? Very good. Some, it is used when you are talking about an uh, unspecified amount or number, all right? Then this, the quantity is not specific. And we can use countable nouns, and we can use uncountable nouns with this. For example, I have some friends. Si yo digo esa frase, ¿cuántos amigos creen que tengo? Algunos. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuántos? Si yo, si quiero un número, ¿cuántos serán en número? Unos tres o cuatro. Unos, ajá, unos cuatro. Y si yo digo, oh, I have a lot of friends. Un montón. 12, 15, 20, all right. Y si yo digo, I don't have any friends. Ninguno. Eh, ninguno. Zero. Nothing. All right, very good. Now, hay que tener y hay que poner mucha atención cuando usemos los countable nouns. Siempre tienen que estar en plural. Ok. It is not possible to say, I have a lot of apples. Yo tengo muchas manzanas. Mm -hmm. You are not, you don't have any con, uh, coherence over there. I don't, I have a lot of apples. I have a lot of bananas. You need to mention the plural way. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah, very good. Okay, now it's time for the question. Do you have any question, everybody? Alguna pregunta? No. Any question? No. 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 Yo, yo, yo. Okay, vaya. Yo, yo, yo. Madre, ajá. Es que no entendí muy bien el cuando se va a usar el lots of. Oh, it's similar to a lot of. It's the same function. Lo puedo usar en cualquier ocasión así exactly. como. Y si no quiere decir a lot of, you can say lots of. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, uh, we're gonna do something. Lo vamos a hacer así. No, I didn't do this practice with my with my previous uh, class, but I'm gonna do it with you. A lot of. Give me some examples with a lot of. Y vamos a decir I have. Okay, Carlita, we're gonna begin with you. 
Um, you can use countable noun, but plural. Le voy a poner arriba, plural countable noun. Eso es lo más específico. Plural countable noun. Or a non-countable noun. Or you can say, I have, drink, I need. I need, I need a, a money, lot of, no, I need a lot of, a lot of money. Excellent, very good. I need a lot of money, very good. Eduardo, give me one example with a lot of. I had a lot of money. Ah, ah, ah very good. <laughs> nice, Eduardo. Ah. All right. Santos, give me one example with a lot of. Uh, I like... Uh... I have a lot of um, medicine. <laughs> okay, you have a lot of medicine. <laughs> you have a lot of medicine. <clears throat> Terrible. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Santos is a doctor. <laughs> yes, for that reason. Uh, Santos has a lot of medicine. Okay, uh, let me see. Thank you, Santos. Uh, 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 Boris, can you give me one example with a lot of? Um, I have a lot of friends. Excellent, very good. Okay, Javier, give me one example with a lot of. Javier has problems, I think, with the with the microphone. Let me see. Um, Ahí me está viendo y no me quiere ver con una camisa azul. Ok, Carlos Pineda. Yes, teacher. Give me one example with a lot of, please. Um, I have a lot of apple. Ok, uh, can you repeat, please? I have a lot of apple. Apple, digámosla en plural. Apples. Apples. Excellent. I have a lot of apples. All right. Okay. Uh, let me see. Carmen Reyes. Give me one example. Ahora vamos a usar un negativo. I don't have any. Yes? Tal vez nos ayudan ahí con un micrófono. No sé cuál podrá ser, pero soy yo mucha... Ah, okay. Maybe uh, the person who has a little noise on the background. Okay. Ah, okay. You you don't maybe. Okay, give me a second. Mm. I don't have any. Okay. Uh, so maybe Carmen Reyes, I'm gonna unmute you. Okay. Okay, Thank Carmen. You. Give me one example with any. I don't have any. I don't have any um, any money. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now let me see. The next one will be Laurita. I don't have any sugar. Excellent, Laurita. Thank you very much. Now, the next one will be, let me see, Josue, give me one example, please. Josue. Okay, very good. Uh, Samuel. Hola, teacher. Okay, give me one example with any, Samuel. Uh, 
I don't, don't have I any. I don't have any tortilla. Any tortillas. Tortillas. Yes. <laughs> any tortillas. Okay. Thank you, Samuel. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. Now, sorry, sorry. Now I'm going to stop the, the share and I'm going to show you uh, a video. Okay. I'm going to show you a video. The video is on your... The video is on your... Oh, sorry, Josue. All right, uh, Josue Marmol, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna go to the platform and we're gonna watch a video, okay, with... Um, some information about quantifiers. Estos son otros quantifiers, all right? They are not difficult. Okay, so we're gonna watch the video. If you want, you can take notes, okay? And then you work down the scale depending. This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all. And then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. All families have only one child. Okay, now here we have some quantifiers that are new. Okay, estos son aparte de los que ya vimos, pero estos no son tan difíciles, all right? They are um, quantifiers que vamos a usar al principio de la oración, okay? For example, we have all. All represents 100%. Nearly all is casi todos, all right? It represents maybe like 90%. Most is la mayoría there, right? Many, muchos, a lot of, yeah, the one that we studied before. Some, no muchos, not many, a few, pocos, few, poquititos, all right? And no one is nothing, eh, or nadie, sorry, nobody. Now, here we have some examples. All these, todos estos que están acá, excepto este, except this one, all of these need a plural word, okay? All families, nearly all families. Okay, Noah, you have a question. Okay, give me a second, Noah. I'm going to look for you. Where are you? Noah, 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 Noah is here. Okay. Yes, Noah, ask me a question. Oh, Noah is connecting to audio. Noah? Noah, are you there? Sorry, teacher. Okay, you have a question. Ah, okay. Sorry, no, no sorry. problem. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. So no one is nadie. All right. No one is uh, nadie. 
Now, with all, nearly all, most, many, a lot, the word has to be plural. The exception is no one. The exception is no one because no one is singular. So the verb has to be uh, affirmative, okay? And in, in third person singular, tiene que estar en tercera persona el verbo, o sea, un verbo con una S. Okay, give me a second, please. I'm gonna... Ok, alguien que tenga alguna pregunta, ya pueden desactivar sus micrófonos ustedes, all right? Uh, do, do you have any question? No? Teacher, can you yes, stop the, the video in the next part? Ah, when okay, sure, Explain sure. the no one, please. Here? Here? Yes. yes. Okay, you, you, okay, so it says nearly all... Nearly, casi mm -hmm. todas las mujeres, nearly all uh -huh. women work nowadays. I have a question, everybody. How do you say todos los perros son bonitos? How do you say todos los perros son bonitos, everybody? All dogs are all dogs beautiful. beautiful. All dogs are beautiful. Okay, now. Y si yo quiero decir casi todos los perros. Almost. Some dogs. Yeah. Some dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All. Ese es el que estaba all. abajo de. Ese es el que estaba abajo de all, right? Mm -hmm. Nearly all dogs. Y ahí nos vamos para abajo. Nearly all dogs are. Nearly all dogs are beautiful. O yo digo, some dogs are beautiful. For example, in my case, nearly all dogs are beautiful because I don't like pugs. Or for example, other people can say, oh, nearly all dogs are beautiful because I don't like chow chows or I don't like chihuahuas. It depends on you, all right? And the next one is this. When we have no one, when we have no one, it's singular, okay? It's singular. Nadie se casa antes de los 18 años. No one gets married. Nadie no tiene one gets hambre. married before the age of 10. Exactly. No one has, uh, no one, nadie tiene un Ferrari in, in this class. No one has a Ferrari in this class, or yes. No. <laughs> yes, I don't know. Miniature, yes. Huh? Maybe. Miniature. <laughs> in, yes. a, in a picture. In a picture. Ah, in a picture. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. So, do you have any questions? Hi, Sandrita. Do you have a question? Yes. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo funciona el verbo get? Ahí en este caso, con mi nombre. Ah, yes. acá, esta es una colocación. Esto significa casarse, ¿ok? Es una, es una colocación porque no los puedes separar, si no, no tiene significado. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Get married es casarse. Get de poder o hacer. Eh, get, es que get tiene mucho significado, joven. Tener, all right. Eh, so, but in this case, eh, tenemos get married. Es una expresión eh, que no la podemos dar, si no, no significa nada. Una palabra compuesta. Exactly. It is, it is a word of two parts. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to say, yeah? But I can say, uh, are you married? It's correct. Yes. Para preguntar. To ask a question, yes. Are you married? Yes. Te, el, el, pregúntele, pregúntele a Eduardo, a, a Edgar, si se quiere casar. Pregúntele. The question. Okay. Edgar, do you want to get married? 
the teacher. Oh my God! No, no, I don't. <laughs> no, 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 I don't get married. No, no. I don't. Uh, no. It's not convenient to get married with. <laughs> yes, I won. Ah. No. <laughs> oh. He wants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is it, is it clear? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, very good. So I'm gonna stop the share. And, ah, aquí me puso Josué Marmol. I don't have any pets. Nos dio un ejemplo. Okay, thank you very much, Josué. I have okay. Josué Choto and Josué Marmol. Ah, Josué, you have the microphone. Yes, ya funcionó. <laughs> ya, ya funcionó. <laughs> okay, very good. All right, now let me see. Y vamos a hacer una práctica en la plataforma, pero me interesa mejor las preguntas. Que practiquen, que hablen. Question, question. Questions so you can speak. Okay. Here, okay. Here we have some questions that we're going to practice uh, to speak. Y for example, uh, pay attention to this. Cuando tenemos preguntas con how many, we can answer with numbers or we can answer with um, we can answer with a quantifier. For example, how many siblings do you have? I have five siblings or I have a lot of siblings. Hermanos y hermanas is the meaning of siblings, all right? Or for example, how many okay. cups of how many cups of coffee do you drink a day? I drink a lot of coffee or I drink a little coffee. Or you can be more specific. I drink four cups of coffee a day. Pero la respuesta es completa. Okay? Now, I'm going to give you I one example here. Uh, how much money do you waste? ¿Cuánto dinero desperdicia usted? I, wa I don't waste any money. Imagínese yo, I don't waste any money y as, ni así Edgar se quiere casar. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't waste any money Edgar. I am a very, I, I vamos, like saving a lot of money. Vamos a pensar. Ah, vaya, all right. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. Very, very bad. Okay, is it clear? Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect, everybody. Take a picture, please, from the questions. I no sé si seré yo, but is it hot? Yes. Sorry. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Ah, yes. Really, doctor? Sí. <laughs> Eso, Eso es. Lo que es. El calor. Sí. Ah, okay, okay. 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 So we're going to stop the share. Uy, 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 uy. Stop the share and we're going to practice. We're going to practice. I'm going to recreate the rooms. Se nos unieron más al final. Vamos a hacer grupos de dos o tres para que practiquen bastante. All right? So I'm going to give you this and I'm going to give you this time. Everybody, bye bye. Go to the go to your rooms. Oh, it's very hot. Yeah. 
ใครอืมไอต้องครับเทเวอร์มอนี่ไอต้องคาร์เมน How many siblings do you have? I have um, one sister. I have one. one. Okay. Okay. How much free time do you have? Repeat. How much free time do you have? I I have free time. I have a lot of free time. Okay. 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 Pronto yo. Okay. How much money do you spend on clothes? The question is for me. If how much money do you spend on clothes? Uh, okay. I have a question. How much money do you spend on clothes? The, uh, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. but, eh, para responder sería a few money, a few money, a little, a little money, a little money is spending clothes, for example, I, I or spend, a lot of money. Oh, you I say spend. I spend a lot of money on clothes, or I spend a little money on clothes. The first person. Mm -hmm. okay. I spend a I little. Spend. I spend a lot of money on clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many, how many bad habits do you have? How many what? How many bad habits does an average person need a routine, right? Seria? I have um, four, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, four shoes, pairs, pairs. Mm -hmm. yeah. My, my, how many hours a week should you spell on learning English? Mm. I study a lot of hours. <laughs> <coughs> and how much, Samuel? Okay. How much free time do you have? In English. How many hours a week should you spend on learning English? Uh, uh. Uh, see. I I spend I spend mm -hmm. a ah. <laughs> <laughs> es cuántas veces a la semana cocina que cocino ajá uh -huh. ah uh... I cook three times a week, for example. Uh -huh. I cook twice uh, a week. Twice. A siete veces, verdad? Uh -huh. Twice Tw a week. Twice. Ah, uh, twice. Twice. Mm -hmm. Twice a week. a week. Yeah. 
twice a week. How many pies of fruit do you eat every day? Sabdiel, está solito. You are alone. Sabdiel. Sí, me solo aquí. Oh my God, Sabdiel. ¿Y solo usted ha estado? ¿O, lo, o, o sí, se salió tú? Sí, he tenido en modo el silencio el micrófono porque nadie más se conectó. Ay, no, my God. <laughs> Lo bueno es que va a terminar el tiempo. No sé a quién habían puesto. Vi que se conectó a alguien, pero se salió. salió. Ay, oh my God. Ok, Sabdiel, how many cups of coffee drink a day? Eh, repeat. How many cups of coffee do you drink a day? Eh, I drink uh, three. Three, ok. Three Ok. How much money do you spend? ¿Cuánto dinero gasta? How much money do you spend on clothes? Uh, clothes? Clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Ay, Angélica. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Sabdiel, me dejaron solo a Sabdiel. Oh my God, Sabdiel was practicing alone. Okay, now. Uh, no sé si fui yo, pero cuando entré al grupo ya no pude, eh, se me quedó parada la, la, la aplicación. Ah, okay, yeah, because in, internet is giving a lot of problems, don't worry. Okay, do you have any question, everybody? With the quantifiers? Yeah. No. no. Uh, victory teacher. Uh, do you have a, a question with the quantifiers? No, you don't have any question. Me escuchan. Sorry? Con la primera pregunta, ¿cómo podríamos responder? Ah, ok. Let me see. Let me check. Uh, what's the first question? Can you ever have too much? You can say yes or no. You can say Ah, ok. I, I say, I, yes, yes, I can. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's ok. You can say also that. Ok. Remember that when you have a yes, no question, you can do that. Say yes, I can or no, I can't. Okay? Very good. Now, uh, another question. Yes. Uh, uh, question of uh, how many cars or two does uh, and every personnel uh, is uh, uncomfortable? In ah, how many pairs of shoes? No. In este caso, es contable. Porque la pregunta comienza con how many. Si nuestra pregunta comienza con how much, vamos a usar quantificador, quantifiers, sean para uncountable nouns. Si la pregunta es how many, vamos a usar los de countable. Ok, thank you. ¿Sí, clear? Yes. Yes, ok, very good. Well, everybody, today is the last class. Finish the course. Ha llegado. Módulo. All right, so I I want to say thank you very much, all right, for being sure. good students. Sí, Mari. Um, ahora teníamos que terminar la plataforma, ¿verdad? Mañana. Ah. Tienen hasta okay. mañana para terminar la plataforma. Así que fue un gusto. It was a pleasure to be your teacher in this módulo. Okay. Any yes. question or something, you can, you, can you can type or text in the group. And I'm gonna be uh, <laughs> sorry, Mario. <laughs> I can see the sad faces. Solo se miran unos rombitos. Yes. But thank you very much, everybody. Okay. Han sido muy buenos alumnos y espero que puedan seguir adelante. Okay. Gracias, gracias por la paciencia. Okay, Sabiel. No, no problem, no problem, Sabiel. Yes, Edgar. Yes, Samuel, thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Terminen su plataforma. All right. Bye bye.
Bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Take care. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you for everything. Bye, Edgar, Josue, Carmen. All right. Bye. 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 Laurita. Angélica en Ilamaca. All right. Me levanté. Yes. Okay. Bye, Josué. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, Oscar. Bye, Carlos. Bye, teacher. Take care. Buenas noches, grupo. Bye, bye. Good night. Good evening, I say. Bye, bye.